Okay, so here is a problem today, really interesting algebra problem, and this is really a tricky problem, okay? So we have 12 divided by 4 and times 3. Of course, most of you out there like, like yes, I can handle this, this is basic, I learned this stuff in the third grade, we have division, we have multiplication, no squares, no cubes, so we can easily solve it. And right now I suggest you to go ahead and write your answer down in the comment section, what do you think is a correct answer to this interesting problem, 9 or 1? Okay, so I just want to start it. So we have 12 divided by 4 and times 3. Yeah, so we have this problem. And one part of students solve it like that. This is the first way, how can we how can we solve it? I don't want to tell that is correct or incorrect, but we have this approach. So 4 times 4 times 3. Yeah, so 4 times 3 equal to 12. A lot of students start with this multiplication. So 12 divided by 12 equal to equal to 1. Yeah, so this is the first approach to this problem. The second approach to this problem is to divide it first, because if we divide it first, we'll have like 12 divided by 4 equal to 3, and 3 times 3 equal to 9. As you can see, whatever order we select is going to create a different answer, right? So completely different answer. First one, 1, and second case equal to 9. So what is the correct answer to this problem? And the answer is really interesting because then I show to my students, okay, PMDMC order, this is the main popular order in the world, a lot of internet, maybe all internet libraries solve it according to this order, which is really great. And let's try to solve it according to this PMDMC order. This order works from the top to the bottom, so the first step is parentheses. So are there any parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any parentheses, which is really great, yeah? The second step. We have exponents. So are there any square cubes right here? No, I don't see any of those. We skip these two parts, yeah? Then we have the third step, multiplication. But this is step when, where a lot of students do this common mistake. Because they say, okay, the third step is multiplication. But one really interesting note we have multiplication and division as one group, which is really important, because if we have this problem, I write it once more, so 12 divided by 4 and times 3. So we need to look, we have multiplication division part. Are there any multiplication and division signs? Yeah, I see this one and this one, which is really great. So we works with this with this group. But how can we start to solve it according to this group? We need to look, we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Because it goes, it works from left to right, and we need to scan what is the first sign. The first sign from left to right is this division. So it doesn't matter, division, multiplication, multiplication, division, first sign is division, so let's divide it first. And if we divide it first, we will have this second case, which is a solution to this problem, because 12 divided by 4 equal to equal to 3, so this is our second case. This one is incorrect, because we start from multi multiplication, but first sign is division, yeah? So this is really interesting and tricky problem. Of course, a lot of countries, a lot of discussion about it, but I want to show you my approach. Of course, if you don't disagree with this, you can easily write your suggestion in a comment. How, how do you solve it? How can you, how if you solve it in your country, which is, which is really great. In our case, option A is correct. You can easily check it in Wolfram Alpha, maybe in different internet libraries, and you can easily check this check this answer. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.